Hi everyone, my name is Nathan Kaplan, CTO of Holor, and today I'm going to talk about some interesting new applications for diffractive laser shaping, specifically for welding and cutting and high power applications. So before I dive right in, I just wanted to say that if you've been following our YouTube channel ch recently, you've probably seen that we focus a lot about laser texturing and laser glass cutting, and it's very interesting. You're welcome to follow us. Today, I want to, to go into the more traditional macro high kilowatt applications that are laser welding and laser cutting and show how our specific beam shapers can offer added value there. And basically the overview of my talk is that I will give a short overview of diffractive optics, holo, or what we do, who we are. Then I'll talk about how we can add value to welding and cutting applications using both fixed shaping uh, approaches like our C shaper, our T shaper, and our brazing diffusers, and our new flexi shaper concept where you can basically adjust parts of the intensity of the image or the distances between points by moving the DOE or the, the beam versus the DOE. So basically, as you probably know better than me, high power lasers are becoming lower cost and more available and laser based applications are replacing traditional machining approaches and welding approaches all across the board. And this is because the cost per watt is dropping and applications that were once not practical to do by laser are now becoming more and more practical. And as laser power increases, it becomes more and more critical to optimize the process parameters. You need the right shape to hit the surface to get the best throughput, for example, in welding or and also weld seam quality and hardness and weld angle. So the basic of how do you achieve this is by shaping the laser beam. And Holor has been in the business of shaping laser beams for more than 31 years. We have been founded in 1989 and have grown with the laser market, starting with cooperation with companies such as Coherent and large names. And now we are working with laser integrators all over the world, in Germany, in Asia, in the US, the UK, everywhere where there are high power laser machines being built. And of course, in Japan. So now, excuse me. Okay. Now, basically, what are DOEs? DOEs or diffractive optical elements are robust windows with a very, very thin pattern and this pattern creates a modulation on the phase of the light. This modulation can shape the light at the focal plane or at the far field. And basically, once you can shape the phase of the light, you can achieve almost any sort of intensity distribution. And this is all done on a thin element. It has high LDT suitable for multi-kilowatt lasers. We work both on fused silica and zinc selenide for all wavelengths. And it has absolute angular accuracy because we produce using semiconductor methods and basically there are no tolerances on the periods or the distances between the features. And these are the ones that determine the angles. So for high accuracy systems, we need to get the exact shapes uh, in the exact size or the exact separations. DOEs are the best go through so solution. Now, what can you do with DOEs? Basically with DOEs, you can shape the light into whatever you want. You can shape it into a flat top such as the ones you see here in the presentation. This is a square flat top. You can make it a round flat top, a rectangle, a line, whatever fits the process parameters. You can even make strange shapes such as this brazing shape where you have these two hot spots going on the sides of the brazing on the galvanized sheets and the central spot melting the brazing wire. So the, you get cleaning and preheating of the two sides before you go and braze them together. And you can, of course, split the spots. This enables higher throughput and also spread of the power for applications such as drilling. Instead of trapping, you can just scan over a small section and focal manipulation. Basically, the sky is the limit. We can do a lot of things with diffractive optics. Now, why do we need laser beam shaping in welding? So basically, it has been shown in multiple articles and also in past projects we were part of, like the Taylor Weld Project, a European project that using a tailored intensity distribution has multiple process benefits. It can, for example, in the case of a ring type of mode with a central spot, it can increase the throughput that you can achieve without getting any spatter out of the weld. It can improve the weld angle. It can improve the weld 
uh, quality or hardness and have less inclusions inside that. All of this is achievable by shaping the laser spot. Now you can shape the laser spots by multiple approaches. There are of course ways that utilize fibers etc. But our approach uses a single component and can fit any sort of laser. You don't have to marry your laser supplier. Now Holor's fixed beam shaping solutions are basically giving you a static shape that is optimized to your process requirements. The C shapers have been shown to allow for a well that is better than a ring mode because it, this area of the C that is dark that has no energy allows inclusions that were trapped inside the melt pool to be removed out while, while the beam is scanning forward. This way these inclusions pop out like bubbles and you don't get them inside the, the, the weld area in, in the bulk. This increases the weld strength significantly and also reduces oxidation and hot, eliminates the hot cracking issue. Now T-shapers like this one are good for butt end joining of two large sheets like galvanized sheets or any two metal sheets. This sort of T-shape with a hot spike in the middle has been shown in Taylor Weld to be very useful for a combination of conduction and keyhole welding. The high spot in the center creates the keyhole and the sides create the conduction and using the T you can scan in two orthogonal directions and weld all, weld all over the plate. And finally the brazing diffuser. As I said, the brazing diffuser is often and this sort of intensity shape is used in the brazing of galvanized, hot dip galvanized aluminum sheet or other metal sheets. And basically what you get is that using these two forerunning sm small spots, you are cleaning and preheating the material while the central lobe is melting the brazing wire to give you better intensity, better weld quality or braze quality in this case. And as I guess as all of you know that you have met, if you have ever welded with a hand spot welder, if the surface is preheated, the spread of the braze material is much better. Now these are all static solutions that are fine if you have well-defined process parameters, but it's often useful to have variable solutions or adjustable solutions. Now it's becoming highly popular to offer, for example, adjustable mode ring lasers where you can play with the energy between the center spot and the rings. And uh, these sorts of lasers have been shown to give useful uh, process parameters. Like I said, they reduce spattering, they improve the quality of the weld and allow higher throughputs as in battery pack welding or other types of e-mobility welding. But of course they require you to buy this sort of a specific laser from the specific supplier, often at high cost. Uh, our elements allow you better flexibility. We can achieve the same sort of distribution with a single element and any multi-mode sort of fiber input. And our elements, if you see here, we, we can move in, it in the lab and adjust the element versus the beam and play with the ratio of the central sp spike and the ring. Here you see nothing in the central spike, now everything in the central spike. We're slightly adjusting the DOE versus the beam. And this can, sort of adjustment can be by translation, like here with a simple actuator, or it could be with a rotation sort of uh, actuator or stage, by simply we'll make different areas, a different, dia a different uh, sections of the DOE, and you just rotate it versus the beam. This sort of adjustability maintains the high LDT and high shaping quality of the passive DOEs, while allowing you to adjust the shape of the intensity in process. For example, if you are going over a thicker material in some section of the welded plate, or you need to adjust for some sort of variations in parameters of the surface, you can actively adjust the DOE and get active adjustment of the central spike to the ring with any laser. You don't have to buy adjustable ring mode lasers. Other types of adjustable DOE are heads, high efficiency double spot splitters. Basically, these are diffractive prisms that allow one to play with the ratio of power between the two split orders. This case is what we call half heads. You have a diffractive blazed grating in one side and on the other side you have basically a clear aperture. Half the light goes forward as nothing, not affected. The other half of the light is deflected at a controlled angle and by moving the beam versus the aperture you can play with the ratio of these two spots. It's highly useful for dual spot welding.
And finally, for single mode adjustable solutions, uh, we offer the Vortex Lens Donut Generators or Vortex Face Plates. These are suitable for single mode lasers and by changing the beam diameter, they allow one to adjust the size of the donut and the hole proportionally. You can easily scale it up or down by just putting a variable telescope in front of your VL element and what you get on the surface is an adjustable diameter ring. So thank you very much for your time and of course I would love to answer any questions you would care to send us about adjustable shapers, fixed shapers for welding or cutting or any other application you're interested in. Thank you for your time. Goodbye.